what is what is meditative prayer? What is contemplative prayer? What is sitting in God's presence and like not asking for things, but just sitting and listening? Um, if you've been wondering what the heck that is, or you're a type of person that's maybe into meditation, but you didn't know Christians do that too, this video is for you. meditative prayer or contemplative prayer, um, basically just sitting in God's presence. I think about what Jesus actually did a lot, which was go away to pray. Matthew 14, 23, um, which says, after the crowds dispersed, Jesus went up into the hills to pray. And as night fell, he was there praying alone with God. Um, and that's what I think of like, when I think of contemplative prayer. Um, I, th I think that there were people that were doing that before, like when Moses went away with God, he was gone for a while. Um, so it was always a thing. You know, David himself said, oh, that I, could, I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He would rather dwell in God's house. There's, a, there's this idea of dwelling in his presence, okay? Um, and I want to talk about contemplative or meditative prayer specifically because a lot of people don't know what I might mean when I say dwelling in the secret place or going into the secret place or being in the secret place. Um, that is not always like literally a prayer closet. It's just what wherever you are, where you're, you're cutting out that time for God, you're listening to God, you're not just like spewing out a bunch of petitions, even though that's cool, God said bring our petitions boldly to the throne of grace. Um, but it's just a time when you're like listening, you know, you're listening and you're not necessarily talking to God about something. You're trying to hear from God. Um, you're also sharing things on your heart. It's just, it's just a time of really authentic, you know, discussion. Um, you know, people joke about a come to Jesus meeting, but I have those all the time um, with Jesus himself, <laughs> literally. I mean, um, it's just a time to, uh, you, you come before God and you lay out everything. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that people meditate in different religions and cultures. And the cool thing about Christianity, I think, is that there's really no right or wrong. It's just you're going before your Heavenly Father who knows you like before you even existed he knew you all the hairs on your head are numbered okay um he we are so much more valuable than, to him than any other creation you know um so i think that going before that type of god that created you that loves you unconditionally is already awesome um, and it's a time to be honest, to be refreshed, um, to be renewed. Um, and there's a lot of time of thinking and meditating on his word, on his desire and will for your life, on what the, the, the upcoming day or what might have happened. Um, it's literally you, and meditation just means taking inventory you know you're taking inventory and there's a lot of people who take inventory of a lot of negativity and that's why you continue to produce and attract ne ne negativity so when you're in the secret place with the Lord um, when you're just alone with God maybe maybe with a shadow pet like my baby but she follows me into the secret place unless I have to kick her out <laughs> Uh, if I start speaking in tongues, she's going to run anyway. Um, but um, when you're alone with God and you're just pouring out your heart and really, you know, understanding what the secret place is, it's just a dedicated time and place for you to be alone with God. If, if I could make it any more simple, that's, that's it right there. Um, a dedicated time and place for you to be alone with God. And... Um, Reading his word is great if you don't know what to say or you're awkward with things at first. Um, 
she loves sitting on my notebooks it's and bible any open anything open anyway you can read the word at first if you're like not used to the 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 interaction or like this is awkward you know um there really are no right or wrong um there's no rules to this and, and god will kind of direct you you know you 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 too will develop your own relationship and that's the awesome thing about it um it will be your own unique interaction um and even inside jokes i'm not even kidding um there will be a lot of relationship built as you continue to go to the secret place um, that's where your mind is transformed and renewed. And, and there's a lot of good things in, that come out of being in the secret place um, and reading the word along with that. And I think as you're reading the word, as you're hearing the word given over, you know, at, at your church or, you know, whoever, um, and your mind, your, uh, your faith muscles are being expanded, you know, your eternal mind is being expanded, then your interactions with God will get even better, will get even deeper. Um, you know, as you hear brother so-and-so's testimony or sister so-and-so's testimony about their experiences with God or what God brought them through, that, that gives you a faith and a hope that energizes you. You know, it's like that photosynthesis on a plant. It helps you to be filled. It helps you to grow. And, um, you know, and, and you're continued to be watered and you continue to receive that light. And it's just like this whole cool cycle, um, of being in God's presence. And, that's really what the secret place is. That's what meditative and contemplative prayer is. It's just dedicating quiet time to be with the Lord, where there's no one disturbing you. Um, you might have some music playing, you might not. It might be words, it might be instrumental. It might be the same song, it might be a different song. It doesn't matter. Um, with me, a lot of times, it's quiet. There's no music playing. Um, but when I feel like I need to turn on some music, I do, you know. So that was your 10 minute talk for today. <laughs> Maybe not quite 10 minutes, but anyway. Um, what is the, the secret place and what is contemplative or meditative prayer? And it's really simple. Time alone with God, you know. And Jesus set the standard. It was a long, a long time. Like when I spend time with God, it's, it's going to be at least an hour um, or more. So um, anyway. That's why I love morning prayer at my church because that's where I can spend two, three hours, you know, with, with the Lord. So I pray that that was helpful and that, you know, you utilize this in your life, you know, regardless of your faith. Prayer, meditation, relaxation, especially before you start your day, that's where it's at. Okay? Yay! Anyway, so see you guys later. Love you. Bye. You're reading the word right by You studying the Bible, baby?